Saving a material preset for an item is pretty easy. Uh, you just select the item in the scene and then you can go to the folder where you want to save that preset, hit the plus, and then save material preset. Now this is nice and easy, but there is one thing that you need to pay attention to when you're saving a material preset uh, for something that has deforce applied to it. If the deforce modifier is applied to something, then you have extra settings in there. So I'm going to just expand this really quick to show you. Down at the bottom of this group, the top group, I've got simulation settings. You do not want simulation settings included in a material preset most of the time. Now if you are doing a material preset that uh, changes your cloth to denim and you have new simulation settings that make it behave like denim, uh, then you would want to include those. But if in the process of you setting up your new textures on your on the surfaces, you don't make any changes to simulation settings at all and you're not even thinking about them, then you need to make sure that they're not included in the material preset. So if I want to save a material preset for this Bardo top, then what I need to do is launch this material preset save dialog and then click up here in the little options uh, menu and go to uncheck and then do uncheck all simulation settings and then I save my preset. Hit accept. 